Information and Communication Technology has revolutionized how people do business today. So much so that you can actually run an enterprise and earn profit without having a physical shop or a store. ICT has empowered people to become entrepreneurs and generate income for their family. However, as in any profession or industry, one must adhere to safety rules and responsible practices to protect one's own interest and of others. Many individuals, groups, organizations, and business enterprises have come to be so independent on ICT. We use it for almost everything we do, from studying and researching, leisure in socializing, communicating, doing business, and even exercising, we all use technology in different ways. This lesson will focus on responsible use of wikis, blogs, and audio conferences in business environment and how one can avoid the pitfalls of using ICT. There are many benefits in using ICT in entrepreneurship. Here are some of them. Improves the management of a business in the area of accountancy, stocks control, inventory, and many more. Make it easier to access online registration of a business. Facilitates better communication between clients and providers such as by using email or social media or by providing a web page or website. A micro-entrepreneur may have an increased number of customers who may request for his services through email or through his mobile phone. A web page can also be used to offer free advice on customers' issues. Develops computer skills for e-learning, networking, and many more. Optimizes resources and improves the marketing of their products and services. Three of the most popular online tools used in business today are wikis, blogs, and audio and video conferencing. Let's talk about this one by one. A wiki is a collaborative tool that allows users to create and share information on a website using any web browser. Its content can also be edited from the web browser that allows sharing of information among users. The term wiki comes from the word wiki wiki, which means quick in Hawaiian. And did you know that the first wiki was created by Ward Cunningham in 1995? Blog, on the other hand, which is also known as weblog, is a personal online journal that contains short entries written and updated by an individual called a blogger. It is an individualized web communication tool that allows quick and easy publishing of text, photos, voice updates, artworks, or links to other websites or other blogs. While video conferencing, which is also called as teleconferencing or web conferencing, is an online meeting wherein two or more people can see, hear, and talk to each other using computer networks to send audio and video data in real time.
And did you know that no wiki is larger or more popular than Wikipedia? Since its creation, Wikipedia has more than 1 billion edits across 17.6 million articles from 27 million users. Making your very own Wikipedia-like website can seem like a large undertaking. And to be honest, it is. It will take a lot of time, foresight, and research to get yourself on the right track. Once you understand what it takes to make a wiki successful, you will need to know where to begin once the site is created. This will include how to create pages and add text, images, and videos to them, the difference between page editors and how to enable collaboration on the site. Let's make your own wiki page. Before you can create a wiki site, you'll need to choose how you want it hosted. There are plenty of options out there depending on how much you're willing to put into it. Free option includes Windows SharePoint, MediaWiki, Wikia, which allows you to create your very own wiki site from the scratch. If you got the capital, paid services like same page will offer you tools and a few templates to help you get started. TikiWiki is a great software option for anyone who wants to host a private wiki on a business or personal server. As a wiki is just an ever-evolving site where colleagues and strangers can collaborate on a primary focus, WordPress and even Google site are also potential hosts. You'll want to make your choice based on why you need the wiki, how many people are going to be involved in the project, and how much time you have to dedicate to the setup and maintenance of the site. Security is also a concern for anyone with a website, especially when self-hosted. Moving forward in this lesson, we will be using Google site to get you started making your wiki page. We need to sign up for an account in Google before we can create a wiki with Google Sites. Once you have your Google account, type in sites.google.com in the address bar to get you started. Google Site has different templates that we can choose from for our website. Select Start a new site if you want it to start it from the scratch. Specify a name that best describes the purpose of your wiki. We can even make a visually engaging wiki with a selection of themes. There is a lot of customization that we can do with our wiki. The site editor can customize the site layout, color, fonts, and theme. Google Site is tightly integrated with other Google products such as spreadsheet, documents, presentation, and even YouTube and many more. The great things about Google Site is that we can put our Google Documents, Spreadsheet, Presentation, or Picasso Photo Album into a site that we create in Google Site. Google gives us the option to publicly share our wiki or share the wiki with the groups of people that we are working with. Adding collaborators and members in the wiki is quite simple. Select Share this site from the More Action drop-down 
and enter the email address of collaborators you want to add. Google Sites make it easy for us to create wikis without any technical know-how. It has a user-friendly interface that allows us to create visually appealing and easy-to-use wiki. And if you are satisfied with the look of your wiki, then you can now publish it. People from all over the world can use these online tools. While the benefits brought by the use of ICT in business are enormous, there are pitfalls as well, especially if one is not careful. As in any industry, there are unscrupulous individuals in the internet who prey on unwitting victims. But by following some important guidelines, one can avoid being victimized. Some of the safety and responsible practices in using wikis, blogs, and audio conferences are Use the computer or mobile device for learning, study, and research for information relevant to your subjects. Keep your password safe. Do not give it away. Most sites only allow participants who are at least 13 years old. Children should be guided by their parents or adults in accessing websites. Respect others and treat them the way you would like to be treated. Do not copy other people's work. If you want to use materials from someone else, Make sure to cite the authors or source. Do not make untrue remarks that embarrass others. Do not use other people's account. Do not share another person's full name or send his or her photo without permission. Be careful in sharing your personal information. If you are the moderator, post the rules for the participants. If you are a participant, follow the rules or netiquette. Use your time wisely. Avoid playing unnecessary games. When you are finished, turn the computer off. It is recommended that there should be break or changes in activity. Take rest every two hours when using the computer. Stand up and stretch. For computer security, install and use trusted antivirus software, especially when you are online. Be aware of the rules and regulation laws and accounting standard of your country, other countries, as well as where you intend to conduct your business. Remember, with ICT, you can also do e-commerce. Be cautious of the messages that you receive. Do not spam or mass mail, especially if you want to promote your product. Instead, Create a web page or website that will contain all products and service information, including pictures. For the next lesson, we will talk about blogging and how to create a blog account and how to participate in video and audio conferencing. For now, let's answer the following questions if you learn something new in this lesson.